Moonflower is a new plant-filled bar in Portage Park, serving up cocktails with some interesting ingredients representing the team's cultural background. And joining us now with more, our co-owners, Zach Rivera and Christina Che. Thank you guys for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, we always want to have people that come in <laughs> when bringing us cocktails. So this is a plant-themed bar. That's what people say. I wouldn't call us a plant theme, but we do have quite a few house plants, and obviously okay. the name Moonflower uh, is, a plant. is a plant, right? All we right, have, Christina, you just got out. Jumping, like, jumping <laughs> right right like, what are you making? Kind of girl. Well, she's uh, starting with the Kiss and Tell, which is a watermelon, mezcal, tequila, and lime base. Mm -hmm. And then it has the addition of uh, Milkis, which is a Korean soda that Christina grew up with. Oh, okay. well, that's cool. And Milkis, okay. go ahead. So what's in it? You, yeah, you want me to put a couple of things in there? We're going to do lime juice here. Okay. Um, we have our sweetened watermelon syrup. Okay. Um, and then this is a little batch of regular tequila and mezcal. Okay. Oh, all right. It. Okay. And then what's in the Korean soda? So it's, um, it, the, the label says it's a milk and yogurt flavored soda. Interesting. It is, it, it's very delicious. Uh, it gives it kind of a cream soda type feel. Um, and just works really well with those ingredients. All right, and you grew up with this? Yeah, I used to drink it when I was younger um, with all my friends just like running around as a kid. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was just like great soda for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little healthier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of things we didn't know about back then. All the sugar, they were they didn't tell us that the sugar right. was bad back right. then. So I understand that you guys are doing, trying to do a lot with your neighbors and, and incorporating into the bar and your food a little bit. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, as much as possible, we want to be a part of the Portage Park community. Uh, so all of the plants, for instance, we got from Sunnyside Plants and Plant Shop Chicago, which are in our neighborhood just down the block on Milwaukee. Um, and, you know, as, as much local things as we can bring in, we do. So this um, gold sap, I'm sorry, this pear brandy is from uh, Jean's Sausage Shop, which is also not far from us in Lincoln Square. Um, yeah, and it, we just, it's all community based as much as possible. I love that. That is so pretty. Christine, I can tell you're the head bartender, right? <laughs> she was just whipping it she's up. Like, I got she's it, just, I got it, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. go. What you doing it. now? What's that? This is a little lime peel. Oh, it just okay. makes oh, fun. a little pop of color, makes a little pretty. Yeah. Toddy and I just recently learned about spanking mint. So yes, we're, we're very excited about that. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We love it. <laughs> Yeah, that is very pretty. Is that a signature cocktail, a summer cocktail, a winter one, or is it always on your menu kind of thing? It's a signature cocktail. Yeah, don't leave that over there. You yeah, gotta girl. get it over here for us to taste it now. Come on, come okay. on, we got to sign off. And what's this called again? This is called the Kiss and Tell. Kiss, Kiss and Tell. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you, but this is good. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got, to, oh, yeah. Oh, and we usually good. do not agree on cocktails. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got? What else you got for us? I know you're Ooh. making a couple of ones. You got different glasses here. Yeah, yeah. I love this. I love the scent. Uh huh. Yeah, it smells so good. So the, I do want to try this. Out. I'm gonna steal your little. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, 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 you should it. try it on its own. Can I steal? Yeah, 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 yeah so one of these glasses those. here. I've never. What is this? Milkies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, milk. So and what is? So what is gold saft? Yeah. So the, this next cocktail that Christina is gonna make oh. is uh, off the record, and that has this gold saft beet syrup. It's a sugar beet syrup that our third partner Marvin, who's from Germany, grew up. Uh, with and it's kind of like Marmite or Vegemite That's where you what spread it on. That's what like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that's nasty. Oh, it, I tasted it. It's mm. disgusting. This is good, though. Okay, well, you might not like this one, then. We'll see. Uh, but okay, it has so this this beet, so she's putting uh, rye whiskey, whiskey in. Oh, yeah. It has this raspberry gold sap syrup that we make in-house. Mm -hmm. um, and all of those flavors together just work really well. These are some really unique cocktails. This is stuff like, you know, we do a lot of cocktails on this show, but I don't know what half of the stuff I, I, up here no, is. It's great. I don't either. And this is the exciting part about it, right? So you are along the strip of restaurants? Um, yeah, hopefully soon. So there's, there's, <laughs> it's, it, the block uh -huh. is building up as more people move into this neighborhood, okay. younger folks uh -huh. uh, that like to go out and eat and drink. Mm -hmm. We're seeing ourselves, there's a place called Community just down the street. There's new restaurants opening up all the time. And okay. you have, so Moonflower, and then you have Nightshade. Yeah, so Nightshade we're working on now. It's okay. a, a basement bar below us that hopefully will be open in a few months. And the idea there is more of a sexy, kind of dim cocktail bar downstairs. Ooh, yeah. And then more of a neighborhood, more casual place upstairs that is Moonflower. Cool. Okay. All yeah. right. I like the name. If nothing else, too. you just want to go check it out because of the name. Yes. <laughs> I think it's cool. Okay. It's and good that was branding. Oh, what's that? 
So she's spraying this uh, German pear brandy on top. Uh -huh. uh, it's called Schlatterer. I'm sure Marvin is very upset with how I'm pronouncing <laughs> that right okay. now. But it's just a, it's a pear brandy and it kind of brightens up the cocktail, makes it feel a little bit lighter than what it is. Oh, fantastic. Okay. This hey, is And Christina, cool. you've created these, these some of these um, creations yourself? Oh yeah, so the Kiss and Tell is usually is um, on my side of the cocktail, like lighter, tart, um, and then this is definitely more of Marvin's, yeah. Marvin's style. I like them both. This is a hard this is one. This not bad. At the venue, might yeah. be. What is it <laughs> called again? Gold, yeah, gold, gold, gold Seth. Gold But okay. for a whiskey-based cocktail, it's not. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's still Ooh, drinkable. Covers up. Yeah. All the information for Moonflower right there on your screen on Milwaukee. Their social media handles as well. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Yeah, this is really fun. Uh, this is my favorite. All, of course, I like you know, both. Though. Yeah, I'm a hard time to judge today. All right, stuff to drink them both. Thank you guys so much. Good luck to you.